whether a person has a tracheostomy tube, uses a ventilator to breathe, or has other medical needs, finding the right gift can be challenging. Many questions may arise such as, will this gift be useful? Or will this gift interfere with the person's breathing? Join me this week as I share five ideas for gift giving. When I was first started on BiPAP in December 2016, the one thing which I loved to wear were zip-up tops. Since I wore my BiPAP mask almost 24 hours a day, I did not like having to take off my mask to put on a sweater. I discovered if I wore zip-up tops, I could take my sweater on and off without having to remove my mask. When I got a tracheostomy tube, I found zip-up and button-up tops were ideal to wear because I could adjust the neckline. Many regular shirts and sweatshirts get caught underneath my tracheostomy tube. This causes the shirt collar to become covered in yellow drainage. The shirt collar also rubs at my tracheostomy site and causes irritation. Having a top with an adjustable neckline prevents this from happening. If you are buying a gift for a person, ask if buttons or zippers are okay. Some individuals have issues with dexterity. Buttons and or zippers may be difficult for the person. If a person has issues with buttons and zippers, ask if Velcro is an acceptable alternative. Finding clothing with Velcro may be difficult. However, there are a number of online vendors who make this type of clothing. During the winter, my neck frequently gets cold. Having a tracheostomy means the frigid winter air enters straight into my lungs and does not get warmed up by my nose and mouth. A friend of mine gave me a scarf for a gift. I thought this was a wonderful accessory. It can be used to add style to an outfit or it can be tied more tightly to provide protection from winter weather. One thing to remember, if the person you are buying a gift for has a tracheostomy tube and does not use a ventilator to breathe, make sure the scarf is breathable. A heavy knit scarf may block the tracheostomy tube and prevent the person from being able to breathe. When using a ventilator, it is important to have the right type of pillow. For CPAP and BiPAP users, getting a pillow which accommodates your face mask is important. There are many different types of pillows. The person's sleeping habits will dictate which pillow type will work best. If the person you are buying a gift for uses a tracheostomy tube and invasive ventilation, the person may need to sleep at an incline. A wedge pillow may assist the person in finding the right position to sleep in. Wedge pillows come in various angles. Before buying a pillow, please ask the gift recipient which pillow type will be the most helpful. Gift cards are a popular item to give. However, I feel as though many people with medical needs could benefit more if the money was put towards bills or medical expenses. It may feel awkward to ask a person if he has expenses he could use assistance with, but it may yield great results. Instead of placing money on a gift card, ask if you could put money toward a bill. Even a small amount is greatly appreciated. Even with the best medical insurance, there are medical equipment and supplies which are not covered and must be paid for out of pocket. The item may be something small, such as a bottle of aspirin, or something more extravagant, such as buying a ramp for a vehicle to get a wheelchair in and out of the automobile. Ask the person you are giving a gift to if she has any specific needs. 
One of the best gifts you can give a person is your time and love. Many people with medical needs may find it challenging to leave their home. Instead of inviting the person out to dinner or to your home, ask if you can come to the person's home. It does not need to be a big, fancy ordeal. Simply arriving and spending time with the person can be a very special event. If you are not able to do an in-person visit, consider setting time aside to do a video call. Showing your love and support for the person can do a world of good to brighten the person's spirits. Before buying a gift for someone, try to understand the person's needs. Do not assume one gift will be perfect for every single person on your gift giving list. For me, I have muscle weakness and have issues doing certain tasks with my hands. Buying me a button up shirt is not a good idea. I have a hard time buttoning buttons. However, I am able to do zippers. Moreover, I have a hard time holding objects in my hands. Writing is extremely difficult and very painful. I cannot tell you how many people have given me coloring books and colored pencils as gifts. When I receive the gifts, I always thank the person, but I'm never sure what to do. I feel bad giving the items away, so often the items are placed in my closet. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.